Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to connect your external hard drive to your router. So in this case, I have the Asus Zen Wi-Fi AX68, but this should work with most Asus routers because their interfaces are very similar. So this one specifically actually supports portable hard drives that are USB powered. I did try it with several Western digital drives and they worked fine. It also works fine for external hard drives with their own power adapters. You just plug in the USB over here and what you do is you go to you open up a new browser and you type in router.asus.com which should take you here. It should ask you for a password. Uh, it didn't ask me because I have already typed it in and it's already saved but in theory it should ask you for a username and password. But once you do that it logs you in. You can also get here uh, if you type in your default gateway, so if you hit Windows R on the keyboard and then type in CMD, let me zoom in so you guys can see this a little bit better. You just type in IP config. When you type in IP config, it shows your default gateway here. A trick is that you can highlight it with your mouse and press enter and it copies it. Your default gateway should be very similar, it should be 192.168. This 50 might be something else for you, and then dot one. So but it should be very similar to this but obviously type in your default gateway and if you actually click on the new tab and you just type in that default gateway it should ask you. Notice it showed the username and password but it logged me in automatically it should do the same for you except obviously it should ask you for your password. Now I'll close the other one because it doesn't really make a difference we're both here. Because my hard drive is plugged in I see it here if I hover over the USB sign I'll see it here as well but if you see unmounted here, that usually means it's in a, the hard drive is in a file format that the ASUS doesn't recognize. So that's like XFAT as an example, doesn't recognize that. I think the only ones that ASUS recognizes is FAT32, NTFS, and I believe it recognizes HFS. Now, my drive is in, in NTFS. If your drive is not in NTFS, you can format it to be an NTFS. Now formatting something usually implies you're deleting everything inside it so make sure it's backed up but you would do you would just open up Windows Explorer you would right click on the drive you want to format you would click on format and then you would select NTFS and then you would click start. Now I'm not going to do that because I have stuff in there that I need. Do not format a drive that's not backed up because it literally literally formatting erases everything on the drive. Assuming your drive is NT in NTFS or a, or a supported file system format, which mine is, you see it here. Now, all you do is you go to USB application. Mine is already set up, but I'm going to show you guys what to do, what it's going to look like when you're initially setting it up. So you click on AI disk, and because mine is set up, this is what you see. Now, all you do is you click reset. I mean, you're not going to see reset if it's your first time coming here. This is what you're going to see if you're, it's your first time coming here. But you can click reset and change the options. Now, I was playing with it and just seeing what all the options and everything that it gives you. But this is pretty much how it works. So you could click on admin rights, limited access, or limitless access rights. I just left it on admin and I just left read write enabled. I click on next. This one I have it enabled right now, but just for testing purposes, I would normally just disable this. So I would click on disable DDNS. So I don't recommend doing this. What this does is this lets you access your hard drive when you're outside. So when you're not at home, when you're not on your network. Basically, from the internet, if you're somewhere else, you could technically access this drive. Now, some people really like that. I personally do not like that only because I feel like you're opening up more entries to just get in there but you know again I it's just a matter of preference however you see it but I'll show you guys what it does and how it works so we're gonna enable it for now you, you would type in your name uh, host name or whatever you want to name it I just typed in land pet just to keep it simple so click next and then it's gonna register that for me and then it's gonna say yep this is your address so this is what you would type in to get to that address. So I'm going to click finish. It's going to apply all the settings and it shows you this information. So it says, hey, if you want to access 
it from the internet, you just type in this address. If you want to access it from your local area network, you type in this address. So if I was on the internet on some other computer, if I type this in, and this thing asks you for your password way too many times, which is good because you know it, it, it is more secure that way, but I feel like it keeps asking for my password. So this is the drive and you see everything here and if you want to access like this file and it's like yay and boom there it is. Now if you're on your if you don't have this this enabled which is something that I don't want to do I can access it as long as I'm on the same local network but if I'm on my, if I'm on my local network I could actually type that in and it would take me here and it would basically be the same exact thing that you saw for the internet one you would see it here and then it's like boom there you go so that's basically the FTP access the way I usually access it I access it like a normal hard drive so you would type you would open up Windows Explorer you would type in backslash backslash you would type in your default gateway once again once you do that it takes you to the same place so if I was here and then I was doing it's gonna ask me for my password again it loves asking for my password <laughs> but yeah it would ask it would show you all the same stuff which is fine and then you can go here and you can go here and then this is what we were looking at and if I want to change this to hit, say hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this video so if you did, if you save this and change the file or if you put some other file and hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. So then you would click save and then if you were online somewhere and you wanted to click on this, again it would ask you for your password because it loves doing that. Did I, I'm, I probably didn't type it in correctly. There it is. So yeah, so then you're going to see that. So so there's that and yeah so that's pretty much the gist of it now just to point out a few things so if you actually go to 192.168.50.1 you'll notice that you can't create a folder at this level you can only create a folder inside this level but you can't create it at that level so let's just say you know test one whatever as an example if you want to create a folder at this level, you would actually have to go to ASUS, you'd go to USB application, you could click on AI disk, and then you would say click here, and it would take you here, and then you would open this up, and then you would click the little plus sign, and then call it, uh, I don't know, Logitech as an example. Add. At this point, I'm creating a folder called Logitech, and now it now it did it here and then you can say read write you write only read only so basically you get to get, pick the options that you want so I just left it on that now this does take a few seconds to apply so if you go to it immediately it doesn't work right away so notice if I click F5 it's not gonna like it so it does take like a minute or so maybe a little bit less than a minute but it does take a little bit of time it's not it's not super fast there it is okay so you could see that I create a Logitech and and then boom and then I could create folders at this level and then there it is and then obviously if, if you click on this and it asks you for your password because it loves doing that is that correct I don't even know if that's correct. Let's just go to the FTP because I think I saved it for this one. But if you refresh this, yeah, so it showed up with Logitech, test, one, two, three, and then you're good to go. So, so you have access to it and everything's good to go there. And one other thing that you can do is if you want to delete it, you'll notice that you can't delete it from here either so the way so what you need to do is you need to go here select it and then click delete but it's actually not going to let you delete it because it's not empty 
So I personally don't care what's inside that folder. If you have something that you need, make sure it's backed up. I'm going to delete it because I just created this. I don't care about this, but if there are files that you care about, obviously back it up somewhere. So I'm gonna delete it. So once it's empty, then you can actually go here and you can select it, make sure it's selected, and then you could click on delete and then it says hey are you sure you want to delete it and it says that's the name of the folder I'm like yeah I'm pretty sure I want to delete it and yeah it looks like it applied the settings which you'll see immediately here but then again it, it takes like a minute or so for it to apply here so if I try to go to Logitech it's gonna say nope if I go to this PC nope so it's, it, it takes like a minute or so for it to actually apply in terms of usability. So let's see if that works. And the other thing is you can also map the network drive so you can actually get to it faster. Let me, once it's working, okay, so now that it's working, let's say I wanted to map um, GH5 as an example. What you would do is you would copy that, you would have to click on this PC which would show you the map network drive option. Then you could select an open letter. So this one is taken, this one's taken, but you know, these are all open, these are open. Let's just say I wanted to call it G for GH5. And you can't do it at this level. You can't do it at the server level. You actually have to do select a folder and then, so like this case, and then I would click finish and then there it is. So that that's that's the fastest way of getting there. So if I click on this PC in the future, I'm going to see my G drive and it'll automatically take me here. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment sections below. As always, thank you guys for watching. And one other thing I should mention, if you ever wanted to change the settings, you can actually just click on reset from here and then you could change the options from here and stuff. You could disable this if you wanted to. It does take a little bit of time for that to disable and yeah you can also go to WAN and go to DDNS and then disable it like normally it would it would be enabled here you would just click no and then you would click apply and then it would disable it but I personally don't like that again up to you guys anyways thank you guys for watching